Hi everyone, I'm Alani Sealens and welcome back to Eagles Insider. Let's start our winter special with some holiday music trivia. Who am I here with? Addison. McKenna. Jaden. Luke. Alexa. Khalif. What are you supposed to do when you find yourself under the mistletoe? Uh, you kiss someone. <laughs> That's correct. What is the most popular Christmas beverage, also known as milk punch? Eggnog. That's correct. Which country started the tradition of putting up a Christmas tree? Um, I'm just gonna go with random guess. Germany. That's correct. <laughs> what words follow "Silent Night" in the song? Holy night. That's correct. How do you say "Merry Christmas" in Spanish? Um, Feliz Navidad or something. I don't know. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> what is the best-selling Christmas song ever? All I want for Christmas is you. I'm a Mariah Carey one, yeah. That's incorrect. <laughs> How you gonna tell me? I know it is, because that's the only one I hear every year, bro. What are your winter break plans? We caught up with students to learn about their favorite winter activities. Who am I here with? Miss S. Kevin Cox. Karen. Ruth. What's your favorite winter activity? Um, I would say baking Christmas cookies. Why? Um, I don't know, I like to bake all the Christmas holiday cookies with my sisters um, and then we give them out to people and neighbors and friends. It's fun. That's, uh, what's your favorite winter activity? Basketball. Uh, well, I'm one of the coaches and I just love being around the team. Okay. Skating. Why? Because it's a lot of fun seeing people fall. Um, sleep. Throwing snowballs at my siblings. Why? Because then they get mad. Right. Now let's head to the counseling office to catch up with Mr. Bill. Hi everybody, I'm Mr. Bill. My favorite hobby, first it's good to be on the show. My favorite hobby is golf. I love to golf. Well, I, I don't know even if I really thought about becoming a coach until until I was back home in Flemington and, and my former coach asked me if I wanted to give it a try and uh, and really, that's really all it took. Once I, once I started coaching after a few days, I realized that I really enjoyed it. Uh, my favorite parts of being a football coach are absolutely, I really enjoy the, the practice week. Yeah, coaching football is, is it's really about each day is in, in preparing for Friday night, each day is, has its own set of uh, challenges. I think, I think my, my relationships here at South Hunter and just doing my job, a counseling job, getting to know people as a counselor, you know, you have a chance to get to know people a little bit more than out in the hallways. And, and so then that does help me learn how, you know, getting to know people, just be able to help me build relationships when I'm coaching. You know, it gives me insight into how maybe our players are thinking and feeling. So it just allows me to bring that to, to the field and, and hopefully it helps me treat people better. My favorite NFL football team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Our next segment features holiday questions. Let's hear what students had to say about their favorite movies to watch this time of year. Would you rather watch Home Alone or watch The Elf? That's a tough one. I love them both, but I'm going to have to go home alone. What's your favorite Christmas movie? I think it would have to be The Christmas Story. Would you rather watch The Polar Express or Christmas Vacation? Uh, I would say Polar Express. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Movie, uh, I mean, Elf. It's a good Elf? one. Yeah. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, uh, I gotta go with Nightmare Before Christmas. It's a good movie. Khalif. Would you rather watch Krampus or Home Alone? Home Alone. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Uh, probably like Christmas Chronicles. The Jazzy Chaperone has its cast. Here's what to expect from the upcoming musical. What is your name? What role are you playing? Uh, hello, my name is William Groves, and I will be playing Underling in the hit musical The Jazzy Chaperone. What do you think of 
It might not be a hit yet, but it will be a hit when we do it. Guys, I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Maddie, and I'm playing the Drowsy Chaperone. It's, I'm happy that I got a part that I'm really interested in playing, and then I'm grateful to have these experiences in South. My name is McKenna Healy, and I'm playing Janet Van de Graaff. Oh, hey, she's got to, like, do the splits, but, like, hey, I can't do that. So, it's as far as we can go. So, I, we, I might have to flex myself a little. Uh, oh. <laughs> you won't. What do you guys think of the drowsy chaperone? What is that? <laughs> it's a musical. There's a lot to enjoy this holiday season. Here are some student favorites. Today we'll be asking people what their favorite Christmas movie is. Yeah. So I'm here with uh, Parker, Haley, Tess, Addison, Polly D. Uh, what's your favorite Christmas movie, Parker? Elf. The Grinch. Uh, Home Alone. Elf. Polar Express. Home Alone. Uh, The Grinch. Which Grinch? Uh, the animated one, and I kind of like the Jim Carrey one also. I don't know, man. Honestly, I don't know. I don't really watch Christmas movies like that anyway. Jim Carrey's Grinch. Why? Because it's a pretty funny movie and just, yeah. What's your favorite snack during Christmas time? Cookies. What's your favorite Christmas snack? Ew! So, you know those little square pretzel things, right? You put Hershey Kisses on top, you melt them, and you put M&M's in the Hershey Kiss. Um, cookies? Like those, like, those sugar cookies with, like, the icing on them? Those so good. I'm a big charcuterie board guy. All the cheeses. Um, not a big fan of Christmas cookies. I'm gonna have to go with, go with the pies. Um, cookies. Again. More cookies. I like the little chocolate covered pretzels, like, um, or like the candy canes. Definitely peppermint bark. Um, popcorn. Why are you fading away? Candy canes. Um, probably turkey. Uh, cookies, probably. Because they, like, taste good. Got it. Mr. Grinch. Gingerbread houses are another fun tradition. Let's learn more about them. Gingerbread houses have been a staple for Christmas traditions for generations, but where do they come from? Well, gingerbread houses originated in Germany during the 16th century, but they gained their popularity when the story of Hansel and Gretel was published because of the house made of treats mentioned in the famous story. The bright and cheerfully decorated gingerbread houses were soon associated with Christmas, and this tradition quickly spread throughout Europe and all over the world. What's your winter style? Let's check in with students and staff to see what they're wearing. Okay, who am I here with? Rosemary Cooper. Oh, uh, Parker Rampo. Mr. Jeffries. Lucy Spreen. Let's have a fit check. Okay. So, first, 
This sweatshirt is from Ocean City, New Jersey. These shorts are from Nike. These shoes are New Balance. All right, I'll start from the bottom. Just found these new shoes. I think they're Paul Georges. They're pretty nice though. Uh, Macro Sism University. I, uh, Macro Sism University and uh, Chain. Yeah. You gonna tell me what a fit check is? Oh, outfit. Outfit check. Mhm. Mm so I'm wearing my Skechers shoes, my khakis, and my shirt are both from Kohl's. I'm sorry, I just say where everything's yeah. from. Um, this is from Amazon. This is Garage, Garage, Converse, and I don't know where I got my hair tied from. Perfect. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great break, and we'll see you next year.